Hello, in this video, we're going to drive the equations necessary to find the MLEs of a gamma distribution. <clears throat> As a reminder, the density of a gamma is this thing, where this is the gamma of alpha, beta the alpha, etc. X, alpha, and beta are all positive. Now, this is for a particular Xi. And we want, to, we want to find the joint density. So this is a vector. So this is all in observations. And so, and since each observation is independent, it's actually the product of all these uh, individual densities. And then we come up with this. So, you know, the exponents ended up being summed. This is the product, you know, x1 to the alpha, x2 to the alpha. So we can write it like this. And uh, this is, you know, times the product of n. You know, then the minus, of course, takes that down necessary to be that. <clears throat> now, the log likelihood, and that's what we're going to maximize, is we take the log of this and we end up with this. So um, we split that in the log. You know, the log of a product is the sum of the logs. So this n comes out front and we get the log of the gamma of alpha. And then this n comes out that well the n can go into the alpha and then those come out front you get log of beta alpha minus one now this is the log of the product which is the sum of the logs and then the log and the exponential cancel and we're just left with that exponent now let's start taking partial derivatives of these and let's take it with respect to beta first so here there's no beta so here we get a minus n and then one over beta no betas here you get um you know this is a constant so it's multiplied there and then you end up with plus one over beta squared we set it equal to zero and then now we want to solve for beta so we multiply it by beta squared everywhere and that you get zero, they cancel, and you're left with a beta. Now, what we do if we take this to the other side, that negative becomes positive, equals, and then you just get the sum of the xi. So to solve for beta, you divide by n, you divide by alpha, and you get this. So beta, the estimate for beta is x bar over alpha. Now we don't know alpha yet, so now let's solve for alpha. So let's find the partial of the log likelihood with respect to alpha. So here we get uh, the n's a constant, so it comes out front, and the log of the gamma is 1 over this and then times the inside. Well, this piece here, the derivative of a gamma divided by a gamma, that's called a digamma function. Here there's an alpha and you get n times log of beta. Um, we multiply this n to both of those and then derivative of alpha you get one of those back. The rest are constants in re with respect to alpha. We set it equal to zero. Now here in the next step, so we have the n and then this right here we just write as digamma of alpha. That's a function and it's, it's a function in most software packages. So here we take our estimate for beta, uh, x bar over alpha, and plug it in there. So we, so this, we get an equation in terms of alpha only, and then this comes down. Now the log of division is the difference of those two, so we're going to separate that. This comes down, log of x bar, uh, and then it's minus log of alpha, but that minus n, you know, makes it a positive. This comes down. Now, this right here is a nonlinear equation, so we have to use numerical methods to solve for it. And there's several different approaches. But what we're going to do is we're going to set up the newton raphson method for solving that. And I have a video called newton raphson and Gauss-Newton Methods. And here, for newton raphson it's you have, you know, n equations, n unknowns. And here we have one equation and one unknown. So it's the newton raphson 
here you have more equations than unknown so you use the Gauss uh, Newton method for that so we're using the, the Newton Raphson method so here's our function according to this video and we set it equal to zero and this is exactly what we had on pay, the bottom of page one now we take the derivative of this with respect to alpha so the n comes down the derivative of a digamma is what's called a trigamma function and again that's a function in most software packages uh, this is constant in regards to alpha and here we get n 1 over alpha now the Newton Raphson method says that the next estimate for alpha is this of the previous estimates for alpha and really these alpha should be subscript n right so we plug what we know so in this method we have to come up with an estimate of alpha first initial guess and then this iterative method we you know and then once it converges we're done so to very quickly um, recapitulate what we what we just did is step one is we estimate alpha and come up with alpha hat and so to estimate alpha there's so many different approaches but if you use the Newton Raphson method this this approach will work and then we come up with an alpha and then we take this alpha so we use alpha and then plug it back into our equation for beta which was x bar divided by alpha okay so um, since we need a numerical uh, software package to, to come up with these MLEs, we can't do it in this video, but the next video that I put out is going to be an R program illustrating these methods and how to find the MLEs for a gamma distribution. Well, that's all I have for today. Hopefully you enjoyed that. I sure did. Please like the video and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Thanks. Bye.